Second game in three days, second victory in three days, and you spoke after the opener about resting and bouncing back on short notice. With that in mind, what did you think of your team's performance today? I think we were inconsistent today. You know, we had our, we had our moments, uh, had our runs, and, and did some things. Hit some threes today that uh, I, I, you know, we haven't done a lot in practice, and I thought, uh, I thought Mallory was a, was a huge spark for us and uh, that was nice to see her hitting her shots in fact we talked about it in, sh in shoot around today said if Mal if she can continue to hit outside shots because she's taking her outside shot more in practice it really puts a lot of pressure on the defense when she stretches you stretch the defense out so th that was a spark for us um, defensively we got to get better uh, we still that's a work in progress uh, we got to do a better job play defense without fouling uh, I thought, you know, I thought we tried to play with our hands instead of moving our feet today. So that's that's something that I was not happy with. I, I felt like we were inconsistent with. You know, when when a team comes in on your home court and shoots more free throws than you, uh, it's, it's it's certainly not anything except the fact that you're fouling too much. You mentioned the defense. You did generate 30 turnovers from Texas Southern. Was the is the improvement you're looking for a hustle fitness kind of thing in terms of moving their feet more? Or is it more working within your defensive scheme to to not foul as much as you said? I don't think it's 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 lack of uh, hustle by any means. I, I I think it's knowing your personnel. You know, it's one of the things we talked about at halftime is they all their penetration to the basket was going to their right hand, right hand, right hand, overplaying their right hand, and you know, ball goes into the high posts is shade into that right hand. Well, we have a lot of youngsters out there we have a lot of new people they have to understand our defensive concepts and and even even Karina Baker who's a junior you know she was taught one way maybe at a junior college so this is a, a lot of our defensive concepts may be new to her she played a lot of zone in fact she didn't play much man well, when she w was out there so she she was better today but she still has to do a better job of positioning herself. Given, uh, with that being said, again, we had post players in foul trouble. At one point, we had Destiny, Akil, and Lex, who hadn't played a whole lot of minutes with four fouls. So we got the fouling part down. <laughs> you know, now, now we've got to uh, learn to play a little bit better position defense. You mentioned Mallory Singleton. Last year, her high offensive out point was eight points. In the opener, she got nine. Tonight, she got 16. What did you talk about after last season for her to improve on and work on before coming back this year? Would you believe her shooting if I told you? Now, actually, we, when, we signed, when we signed Mel, we signed her because she's a four player that can stretch out defenses, that she can shoot the outside shot. You know, last year Mel got into a rut, and I think it became a confidence issue. She just she couldn't, she couldn't knock down shots. And when, sometimes when a shooter doesn't knock down shots consistently, it, it, it plays with your mind a little bit. And she just got down on herself, and I think she worked, you know, if there's one player that I can say uh, that consistently worked, was in the weight room, worked on her game, it was Mallory. And she deserves to have a good game out there because she, she's worked so darn hard. But she can shoot the ball. But when you hit shots like that, you're not afraid to take the next one. If you miss a couple of shots, then you're, you're hesitant, and you don't ever want a shooter to be hesitant. But if she can continue to hit those shots, like I said, it's really going to stretch out their defense, and they can't sag on our post players. Alicia Fillmore is your senior captain, who obviously has shown the ability to score. Tonight she gets into double digits again, but with 12 points, she also added five assists, six steals. Are you looking more for all-around performance from her rather than being a dominant scorer on a nightly basis? Well, what I, you know, it's interesting because I talked to Alicia before the game because I never really, uh, I didn't tell her this the other day, and she, I thought she had a really solid game all around the other day. And, and uh, she knows when we're down, the other team's making a run, we need her to take over, take charge, and lead us, whether it be from a defensive standpoint, offensively. And I think, you know, today she hit some key shots at some key times. I, I think she got a little down when she missed some free throws. She's missed, today she missed some free throws that she, uh, she, her percentage is usually better. So I think that played with her a little bit. But, you know, she, she had a couple of tough passes the first half. I thought she tried to force some things and, and in there. And, and she, you know, second half she played, played a little bit better. But, 
you know, she played. She plays a lot of minutes for us, and we expect her to do a lot of things. And she is our floor leader out there. I think she got a little help from Karina today. She got some help from Mal. So the bulk of the scoring didn't. We didn't rely uh, so heavily today on Alicia, and, and that help. That help. That helps us as coaches when you have other players that are going to come out there and score for you, especially especially when Akil's doesn't get into a flow of the game. She's played two games and hasn't been able to get in the flow of the game because she's gotten in foul trouble. So I'm going to say she's going to be ready come Thursday. You mentioned Akil Simpson. Held the three points tonight, uh, but she did do some of the other things. She had five assists, five rebounds. Is she the type of player who can jumpstart her offense by doing some of the other things outside of scoring? Well, she's, she is an unselfish player. Akil is, she's not afraid to kick it out. She's not afraid to give it up. But as I told our team before, before uh, the game today, I said Akil must get more touches. She has got to get more shots and three shots a game. Part of that is is not just us, but it's her staying in games. You know, every time she gets in a game, she, she gets a foul or two, and, and she's she's got to sit out. So the problem is she just didn't get into a flow. When she's in there, she's very active, and and we can't afford for her to get in foul trouble uh, Thursday. You came back on two, two days rest today. Now you've got a three days rest to come back. You got Thursday, North Texas coming into Moody. Uh, new coaching staff up in up at North Texas. How much do you know about them and how good is that team going to be? Well, we know quite a bit about the coach and stuff, about the head coach. You know, he was at Wake Forest and spent you know, a number of years at, at TCU. He's going to, they're going to be a well coached team. It's going to do a lot of different things. Uh, it's 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 a crosstown rival. I know I know this. Last year when we went up to North Texas, we were three and zero, and they took it to us, and they beat us up there. And so that's you know it's whenever you have a team where your players know a lot of the opposing players, it's you can't help but get psyched for it. You know we're we're trying to form a habit of of winning again here. You know, we got a lot of new kids. We're trying, you know, we want winning to be a habit. And, and regardless of, of what the situation is. So, you know, we're trying to get our kids to all be on the same page. Uh, as I said, we have a lot of youngsters out there. We have a lot of new faces on the floor. And even the old faces that are back from last year are still new faces on the floor.